Welcome back to our educational video on bone health. Today, we're delving into a crucial topic, types of bone fractures. Whether you're a medical professional, a student, or simply curious about the human body, this video will provide you with valuable insights into the various ways bones can break. Before we dive into the specifics, let's quickly review some essential bone anatomy. Our skeleton consists of 206 bones, each serving a unique purpose in supporting our body and facilitating movement. Bones are strong and durable, but they're not invincible. They can fracture or break under certain circumstances. These fractures can vary in type and severity, depending on the force applied and the location of the injury. Let's explore some common types of bone fractures. Closed fracture. This is also known as a simple fracture. In a closed fracture, the bone breaks, but it doesn't pierce the skin. It's a common type of fracture, and it usually occurs due to accidents or sports injuries. Open fracture, on the contrary, an open fracture involves the bone breaking through the skin's surface. This type is more severe and carries a higher risk of infection because the bone is exposed to external contaminants. Green stick fracture, often seen in children, a green stick fracture occurs when the bone bends and cracks but doesn't completely break. It's similar to breaking a young, green twig. Comminuted fracture, in a comminuted fracture, the bone shatters into multiple pieces. It's a complex and challenging type of fracture to treat, often requiring surgery. Spiral fracture. Spiral fractures occur when a bone is twisted with significant force, resulting in a spiral-shaped break. These are common in sports-related injuries and falls. Stress fracture. Unlike acute fractures, stress fractures develop over time due to repetitive stress on a bone. They're common in athletes and people who engage in high-impact activities. Avulsion fracture. Avulsion fractures happen when a tendon or ligament pulls a piece of bone away from its normal attachment point. They're often seen in athletes and can require surgical intervention. In summary, bone fractures come in various types, each with its unique characteristics and treatment approaches. It's essential to understand these distinctions to provide proper medical care and support for individuals dealing with bone injuries. Thank you for joining us on this educational journey into the world of bone fractures. We hope you found this video informative and valuable. If you have any questions or topics you'd like us to cover in future videos, please leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you won't miss any of our upcoming episodes. Stay healthy, and we'll see you next time.